Shalom. It's your brother of Israel, Amoan Ibad. I'm back again today with another lesson, you know, an update of uh, what's going on in our surrounding world. You know, just giving an update to what's going on um, with the situation regarding the, um, the so called coronavirus and um, the prophecies that's written in the scriptures concerning um, Jacob's trouble, you know, and I'm going to read a few articles, and we're going to get into this lesson, but um, before before I get too far into this lesson, I'm going to go ahead and give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, and that's our Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, and His begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, whose name is Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew. Okay? The ancient Hebrew, the Lashaw and Kadash, the Holy Tongue. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation to the brothers out there laboring in this truth, doing this work in truth and in uh, sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwath. I would be you brothers and sisters out there. Um, listening to be edified. Hopefully by the end of this video, you're edified. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Uh, we're coming into some 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 very, very serious times. Scriptures say, you know, in the latter days, in the end days, perilous times shall come. You know? So um, we in that time, man. You know, we are actually in that time. You know, Habakkuk uh, chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. You know, it tells you, Do it tarry, roughly paraphrasing, Do it tarry, Do it tarry, Lo, it, it will surely come, And it will not tarry, It will surely come, Roughly paraphrasing. We in that time, it's here. Okay? So, um, we put a, disc a disclaimer out there. I have two articles I'm going to read. Um, I don't have the rights to the, those articles. I'm just uh, doing this lesson for educational purposes. All right? So we're going to jump straight into this lesson right now because um, the illusionists, they're at work again. They're at it again. You know? They're at it again. They're, they're from one story to the next. So um, we're going we're gonna to get into it. Before we get into the article, let me just, I'm going to read from Jeremiah. Okay? From... Uh, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 1, going down to 7. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord power of Israel, saying, Write thee, write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, said the Lord, Yahweh, that I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel and Judah, said the Lord. And I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Okay? For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, okay, of fear, and not of peace. This is the time that we're getting ready to go into. Okay? Jeremiah 30 and 6. Ask ye now, and see. Whether a man doeth travail with child, wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Okay? You hear what the scripture is saying? Verse 7, Alas, for, there is, for that day is great, so that there is none, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, the elect shall be saved out of it. Okay, so Jeremiah 30 and 7, alas, for that day is great, so, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, the elect shall be saved out of it. Okay, so the scriptures coined this, this bad time as Jacob's trouble. Okay, so you know our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. So, so you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites spoken of in the Bible, okay? 
You are the Israelites spoken of in the Bible. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? You are Jacob. And the scriptures term this time Jacob's trouble, okay? So the time that we're coming in is going to be a troublesome time. This is what the scriptures letting you know, okay? You need to study and know these things. You got to repent, come back to your power and call on your true power, your hawa, bahashim, your hawa shai, okay? That's the only way you could be worthy to escape what's coming on the earth, okay? FEMA camps. Okay, martial law, all of these things are coming. These things are coming. Okay, and though it tarry, lo, it shall come. Roughly paraphrase in Habakkuk 2, verse 2 and 3. Okay, these things are coming. So we're getting ready for a rough time. Okay, also for our, uh, for our supporting scripture precept, Daniel 12 and 1. Okay. We're coming into some serious time. Have you ever heard about divine intervention? The Most High is going to send uh, Michael the Archangel, okay, the Prince, to stand up for his people, okay. This is how bad things are going to be. We're going to we're going to need we're going to need divine intervention, okay. So we're getting ready to come in to that time. The time that time is very close. It is at hand, okay. If you could see, if you have eyes to see and ears to hear. As the scriptures say, okay, you can see that time is coming, it's on the horizon, and it's not too far away, okay? Surely, Amos 3 and 7, surely the Most High will do nothing, but he will reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets, all right? And the men of the Lord, we letting you know that that time is at hand, okay? The kingdom is at hand, turn back, repent, Get into these scriptures, start reading, start calling on the name of your power, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right? So I'm going to go into these articles right now, real quick, to see, because it's, it's just, it's unbelievable. You can't make this stuff up. It's just unbelievable. Okay? You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't make this stuff up, man. Okay? So this article, this first article I'm going to read right here, it says, it says, now remember, remember, when 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 this outbreak started, when this outbreak started, they said they say um they say um, um it started in, in, in Wuhan, China, you know, in the sea sea market where people eating bats and snakes and all this different kind of stuff. So it leave from China, get into all of these other different places, you know, Spain and 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 and, and uh, uh, you know. South Korea and Italy and all these other different places. You know, it reached a lot of different places. Now it's in America, right? And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, this is what's happening right now, right? This article reads, African Americans disproportionately affected by coronavirus, all right? CDC report finds. This is what they're saying. Obesity, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes and all Pre uh, prevalent in African American communities are, are risk factors for coronavirus outcome. Right? That's, I'm not going to read all of it. I'm just going to read a small bit of it and go to the next uh, article. It says severe cases of COVID 19, the illness caused by the coronavirus, are disproportionately affecting African American communities, according to a report published Wednesday. Right? By the Senate's for disease control and prevention. The analyst um, includes data from 1,482 coronavirus patients hospitalized in 14 states, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Georgia, Iowa, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, New Mexico, New York, Ohio, Oregon, Tennessee, and Utah. Okay? So um, if you want to read the rest, you could go ahead and, and, and read the rest. It's, you know, you, you could pull it up online or so, and, and you could just go ahead and read the rest. But that... I would say for the most part, if you if 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 you if you don't see what these people are cooking up, man, if you believe that, your head is far up your rear, okay? Your head is far up your rear, man. Because number one, you damn right, because I heard somebody say it in another video too, like they thought say our uh, so-called people wasn't really getting it that much. Yo, we have melanin in our skin. We ain't gonna get it to the to the to the proportion of what they saying, okay? 
All of a sudden, it get here and we getting it more than everybody else. This is what they're trying to say right now. If you believe that your head is up your rear, okay? This is the turning of the tide. That's what this is. This is the turning of the tide. They need an excuse to come at you. You see? That's what we say. Martial law, FEMA camps, and all these different things. Right? All of a sudden now, we supposed to, our people supposed to have this more than anybody else. Well, how was that? How, well, how come that wasn't the case in the, in the, other, in the, in the other, other, other places? Okay? This, 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 this we, we, you know, what they're cooking, I, 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 <laughs> trust me, man, I ain't eating what they're cooking. I'm definitely not eating what they're cooking. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go to the next, to the next, um, article. All right? So, um, it's the next article right here. This is, um. The Washington Post, what it says, the coronavirus is affecting and killing black Americans at an alarming high rate. Are you, you, you seeing this? All the way from China, from in Wuhan, China, right? <laughs> Went through several countries, now in America, and all of a sudden now, the first they say was old people, right? Now, all of a sudden, there's a big switch. It's a switch from everything else to killing black African Americans. The coronavirus is affecting and killing black Americans at an alarming high rate. As I said, once again, if you believe that, your head is far up your rear. Okay? It reads, as, as the novel uh, coronavirus sweeps across the United States, it appears to be affecting and killing black Americans at a high, disproportionately high rate, according to a Washington Post analyst of... Um, of early data from jurisdictions across the country and the emerging stark racial disparity led the Surgeon General Tuesday to acknowledge the personal terms to increase risk for African Americans and drawing demands that public health officials release more data on the race of those who are sick, hospitalized, and dying from the contagion that has killed more than 12,000 people in the United States. A post analysis of our available data and census demographics shows that the counties that are majority black have three times the rate of uh, infection and almost seven times the rate of deaths and county as counties where white residents are in the majority. As I said, I'm not eating what they're cooking. Okay? I ain't eating what they're cooking. All right, this is another one. The New York Times, black Americans facing alarming, black Americans face alarming rates of coronavirus infection in some states. That, 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 um, data on race and the coronavirus is too limited to draw sweeping conclusions. There we go. Data on race and, and coronavirus is too limited to draw sweeping conclusions. Yeah, so how, where, how, why are you drawing it? Experts say, but this. Uh, this desperate, desperate uh, rates of sickness and that have emerged in some places. Like I say, <laughs> I'm not eating what they're cooking, man. All right, I I'm not eating what they're cooking. All right, because you got brothers, you have people out there making videos and they don't see nobody around, even no hospital as as they make it. It seems as the news make media making it seems. Okay, they, they people, you have people individually going to certain hospitals and making videos and stuff, and they ain't seeing no people around there, like how they hyping it up on the media, doing their sorcery, uh, using their media to do their sorcery, okay? This, this, this media thing is just a sorcery thing, okay? They use their media to, 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 uh, as sorcery, you know, to, to get into the minds of the people, okay? So we know... We 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 gonna lean on our true power, Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's what we gonna do. We gonna lean on our power, okay? I can trust in the Lord and lean not on my own understanding. Proverbs three and five, okay? But our people, our, our, our people, you 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 Israelites, okay? 
You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you need to know your power. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And come back to your law, statutes, and commandments, okay? And serve the Lord. Seek the Lord. Repent. Come back to the Most High. You know, if you don't even know, if you don't even know who you are, you ain't gonna know who your enemies are. Okay? Alright? So you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta seek um wisdom, man. Because the scripture tells you, say, um, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Okay? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. The strength of his salvation. Okay? It's his treasure, roughly paraphrasing. So you're going to need wisdom. Don't care how many food you try to save, how many push-ups you do. It ain't going to be by your, your strength that if you was to be saved, it's going to be through the most high. If you if you numbered among the elect. This is a spiritual thing. This is not a carnal thing. Okay? But you need to know, say, these uh, people, they they don't like you, man. They're coming against you because they're telling you straight and plain. All of a sudden now, you the problem. You the face of the problem. Suddenly now, you the face of the problem. Is 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 affecting you more than anybody else? You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because that's what those articles are saying, right? And if you believe that, your head is far up your rear. Okay, we were made with melanin, man. Okay, of course, a lot of people are gonna be are, are, are gonna be. Uh, scared and in fear because they don't they they don't they, they don't know the true power they don't know their true power they don't have wisdom our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge the scriptures say Hosea six and four four and six right Jeremiah four and twenty two you see our people are saddest children right roughly paraphrasing they wise to do to do evil but to do good they have no knowledge so a lot of these people ain't going to understand. They're not going to get it. You see, two-thirds of our people are going to be cut off and die because why? They want to remain in wickedness, right? Zechariah 13 and 8. But the one-third, the most I say, he'll bring through the fire, right? He's going to bring one-third through the fire, and they're going to be tried as gold is tried, right? So this ain't for everybody. Not everybody is going to get it. But the elect, the elect is going to get it, Okay? So we're going to continue with this lesson. This is Psalms um, 83. Psalms 83, verse 1, okay? Remember, this thing go all the way back to the birthright, okay? To the birthright, for the, to the humble beginning, all right? This is uh, Psalms 83 and 1. Keep not silence, O power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head, Okay? Hear what it says? Thy enemies make a tumult, and they have, and they that hate hate thee, have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thee. Crafty, okay? That's the sorcery. This 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 media now, you know, you cook in the numbers and 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 and, 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 and all of us trying to have people believe what they want to believe. But they they own the, they own these stuff. The top elites they own the medias and, and all these different stuff. They tell people anything they want, okay? But ask these simple jakes out there. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you simple ones, you just run, go with anything. Okay? okay? The, the scripture tell you about the, the, uh, 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 the mark of the beast, Revelation 13 and 16, right? A lot of you jakes, you, you, you're just going to line up for that. You're going to line up. A lot of you jakes going to just line up for it because you ain't got no knowledge. You ain't seeking none either. You're not seeking the most high. All right? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Okay? All of a sudden now, our people becoming the face of this coronavirus, really, out of nowhere. And this starts from all the way in Wuhan, China. Now it make, make it way. And now all of a sudden now, it's just like, it's a total big shift going on all of a sudden. So what you think will be happening? Everyone going to be looking at you. Everyone going to be pointing at you. They making you the face of this thing all of a sudden. Right? So what you think that's going to lead up to? Right? The scriptures say they're going to cast some of you out of your houses, right? So all of a sudden, they're going to want to come and check you, right? 
Psalms 83 verse 3. They have, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Okay? That name, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Okay? For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. All right? Confederate against you. All these nations, the tabernacles of Edom, the Ishmaelites, the Moab, and on and on. And, and, and the list goes on. But you have to know, man, this there's this no new thing under the sun. This goes all the way back to the birthright. Okay? This go back to the birthright. Right? So I, 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 I'm telling you, man, you... You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, you, you, you better get it together. You better start seeking your true power. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Start keeping these statutes and commandments to the best of your ability. And call on the Lord and believe on your Lord and Savior. Because it, 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 Scripture says it's impossible to please Him if you don't believe. Hebrews 11 and 6. Okay? And you need to know the name of your power. All right? Proverbs 18 and 10 lets you know the name of the uh, uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Okay? So we're coming into some serious times, brothers and sisters. This is 2nd area 16, uh, beginning at 67. Behold, the Most High Himself is the judge. Fear Him. Okay? Fear Him. Alright? We don't have to fear nothing else. Right? Because the, the, the scripture tells you in, our, I believe it was 2nd Timothy, the Most High haven't given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay? Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 67. Behold, the Most High himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Okay? And we know that's the elect. Okay, because we know already what the scriptures say, two-thirds of our people are going to die. They're not going to get it. Okay? You're going to lose many brothers and sisters to the sword, to famine, and to other different things. Okay? All right. So you have to, as long as you know these things, you, you could be comforted because you already know. If you don't know, then you ain't going to have to understand it. When you see things happening in the street, you, you're not going to have any understanding for why these things happening. Right? All right, verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Let's read that again. For behold, look, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Okay? You need to know that. Martial law is on its way. FEMA camps, okay? And they shall take away certain of you. Right? And for those of you who don't believe, remember... Ezekiel 33 and 33. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. Okay? Alright? 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra 15 and verse 4. Right? For all the unbelievers, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Okay? Alright. Reading on. Let's, let's read it again. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. What is that? That is the mark of the beast. Okay? Revelation 13, 16. And the scripture tell you, if you was to get that mark, what will be the outcome of you? Revelation 14, 9. You'll be tormented. Okay? In the presence of the holy angels and the lamb. Okay? Roughly paraphrasing. Six, verse 69, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision. So after you consent after them, you take this RFID chip, okay? Because this is what this thing, this whole thing is leading up to. You see, if you consent unto that chip, you're going to be had in derision. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden underfoot, okay? For there shall be in every place and in the next cities great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Don't you see how they're closing off all of these borders and stuff now? Certain states you can't even go into. You can tell me, say, the scriptures is this book is not live and living and well. This book is alive. Okay? The, pop, the prophecies are popping like popcorn. 
walking off of the pages. Okay, verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next city is a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Okay? They shall be like madmen. Okay? Sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Okay? You hear what the scriptures are telling you? Okay? Then shall, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Okay? Doesn't I mentioned that before? Zechariah 13 and 8. Uh, two thirds of our people are gonna die, and one third of us are gonna be brought to the fire. Lord willing, I'm of that number. Okay. Right? See what he's saying? Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried. Okay? So one third is gonna be tried to the fire as as gold in the fire. Alright. Hear, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. We in that time fastly approaching. But I will deliver you from the same, which is, this, this, this is speaking of the elect, okay? The 144,000 and one-third. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. You got to believe on your Lord and Savior, okay? Verse 66. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord power. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your, uh, your iniquities lift up themselves, okay? Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities as a, as, as a field is covered over with bushes and the part thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. If it is, if it is, it is left undressed and cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. All right, so... We're coming into some crazy times, brothers and sisters, all right? And these scriptures right here keep coming out. These, these two chapters right here just keep coming out constantly because why? we in that time. It's fastly approaching. This is 2 Ezra 15, beginning at 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and the destruction draw it nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands, okay? So it's a lot, it's a lot going on. It's in the last few weeks, Things are moving so fast. Every other week, they have a different news to tell you. Okay? Every other week, they have something else to tell you. So you can see these things happening in like in real time. You know what I'm saying? In real time. They, they, why do you think they're setting up all of these different things? Because they're anticipating this stuff. Why do you think you see the people, people not working and stuff like that? And all of a sudden, now they boarding up their businesses and boarding up their places. They're already anticipating they know what's going to happen. After a while, people ain't going to be able to get food and stuff like that. They know so these food ain't, they ain't seeing food out on the store shelves as much. And people ain't seeing ships coming in. You know, when people can't get food, what's, what's going to happen? What's that going to lead to? Right? Huh. Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the cause of their action shall stand in their power. So they're not going to be listening to nobody, all right? And a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And for because of the pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Right? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Remember the scripture says, through much tribulation shall we enter the kingdom, right? So that 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 kills the, the so-called modern day Christian rapture doctrine doctrine. Right? The scripture says, Through much tribulation shall we enter the kingdom. Alright? So Brothers and sisters, this lesson wasn't meant to be too long. Wasn't meant to be too long. It was just uh, hitting a couple of points real quick. Just to let you know we're in some serious times. And um, trust me, man. Um, trust me. Lean on the most high. Okay? Trust in the Lord and need, lean not on your own understanding. Get into these scriptures and read. Because we're in, we in that time right now. All right, brothers and sisters? So I uh, hope you were edified. Shalom.